Hi, welcome to interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can post your resume using the following link. In this video, I'm going to explain to you one of the important Java entry questions. What is the difference between class and object? Very basic Java entry question. If you are a beginner and you started your career, this question is very, very important and you should know the exact answer. So I'm going to give you the explanation for this. The terms class and object are absolutely related to one another, but each term holds its own distinct meaning. The term class refers to the actual written piece of code in which the class is defined. A class is a static piece of code. I'll be explaining in a short demo, with a short demo, okay, with the code that consists of that consists of attributes which don't change during the execution of a program, like the method definition within a class. So class is just a static piece of code, whereas the object is like instance of the class. Please remember this statement. Object is an instance of a class. Okay? Object is an instance of a class. Whereas static piece whereas class is a static piece of code. It just gives you an idea, but object is a real instance of the class okay every object must belong to a class objects are created and eventually destroyed so they only leave the program for a limited time whenever you create an object using new operator it, the object is created and it will be destroyed if it goes out of the scope an instance of the animal class i'm giving an example I mean, an instance of the animal class would be a specific animal like lion cat camel so so here i told you animal is just a concept okay whereas lion cat and camel these are the real instance of animal class these instance of animal class would be called objects let's see one more example i told you uh, class is a static or just it give you an idea how the object is going to look like so here we have a class called student with na ro name role number uh, set name role number okay set name and set role number okay so these are the different objects say jenna john maria james and their role number so this is a class it just give you uh, details uh, it just give you an idea how exactly your objects are going to be using this class information i'm going to create an object in java okay and i'm go i want to give you another example i am person okay so this is a class and these are our objects objects okay so let's see a java example so that you can understand in a better way so this is our class okay java class so this is a class employee class object demo and i have two attributes here employee number and name and i have getters and setters and i have a single method so i'm going to create two person here john and adams okay and i'm going to give their name set the name john lee and adams lee okay John and Adams and their number employee number okay so this is the class okay using the new operator I'm creating two different objects okay these are all instance okay and they have their own attributes let me debug then you will understand in a better way okay so let me debug it so I'm debugging it so it comes here so I'm going to create John object okay and I'm setting it now you can see John has its own attributes employee name is John the employee number is one two three four so this is uh, one object I've created using this object I'm just uh, calling a method can you display the elements so it has displayed those two attributes that I've set so I'm going to create one more object called Adams and I'm going to give I'm going to set those attributes okay this is completely mutually exclusive okay so this employee name is different from John's employee name he has his own attributes and Adams has his own attributes if employee number is different so I'm just telling can you print this yeah I printed it so this is a class and uh, I have created two instance two objects out of this class using the new operator in Java very very important java interview hope this video is useful for your java interview preparation thank you and all the best for your interview thank you